Hey everyone, happy Friday. We uh, hit the trap. Hey everyone. There we go. Hit it. And admit uh, you guys. <clears throat> Everyone's doing well. It's uh, back to freezing here again. It's uh, 30 degrees outside. Yay, just below freezing. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Wait. Oh, oh, and here's Sean. Tom, our like tab nation, reached out and said uh, he's not going to make it today, unfortunately. But, um... How are you guys doing? We're good. We've got a storm in the UK at the moment. Everyone's battened down the hatches. Oh, really? Um, you know, I didn't think about that. Like for us in the state, like Texas, it's so big. A storm, we would, you know, like it, the storm might hit all of Texas, maybe, but it's very rare. But I guess, you know, because I know a lot of those, some of the countries are pretty, you know, small in comparison, right? So it it's goes also, across... It's not it's not the small, it's a fact that the Met Office has issued a uh, threat to life warning, which wow. they only do once every 20 odd years. Wow. So, you know, having winds here is not a problem. Okay, we don't have tornadoes like you do that, you know, tear up whole towns. But for them to issue a threat to life warning, uh, basically um, everything grinds to a halt, every, the shops close, everyone goes and hides. Is it is it just cold? What What's the... 19 miles plus an hour winds. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. All right. So um, I'm sitting in a garden office, which is made out of wood. And I'm thinking, I, thank God I've got uh, concrete tiles on the roof or the thing would have taken off by now. Yeah. Yeah. And we've had power cuts and flickers. So if I vanish, it's not because, um, you know, <laughs> you you've got to stop. You're like, yeah. 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 So um, I've had. Everybody... Um, I've got great fun with what you um, uh, helped me out a couple of weeks ago. That was really, really useful. Um, I think I emailed you earlier on. I don't know whether you've got time to ever uh, thought about this. Um, it's about I managed to get a hold of all the bits of software. A lot of links are broken for auto hotkey. You go looking for a resource and you get a nice bit of text and sure. the link is broken. Yeah. One, you know, one thing you can try, it may not work, but if you're using like, uh, Google is to, you know, if there's a drop down next to the thing, you can right click, you know, you can click it and say, see cached version, right? At least then you have a chance. And that's, that's not an auto hotkey thing. That's just in general, right? Okay. Um, I've done that before and been able to find stuff. I also, you know, I'll need to, let me write a note to myself to share it. Um, I have a library of five. So it's a really long, complex history for the forum, the auto hotkey forum. Um, yeah, at one the, point, the links there are broken. The links there where they've got here is the library for this, and you go and click it, and it takes you to a totally different website. Yeah, well, at one point, the person that was running everything kind of, well, anyway, whatever. He he just uh, he, he he did something, and they created a new forum, and then the old one. Um, and actually, no, I'm sorry, this was a separate issue. At one point, that the site got hacked. And a lot of stuff just disappeared. And Tank, who's the, the forum admin, and he's been for a long time, I think he was the one, or maybe it was the other guy, restored a lot of it, but we couldn't, there was a lot of stuff still missing, but we had files. So there's a, a download, which it's a zip file, is a, which has a lot of the resources. So if you go to a link and it says, hey, find this, and it's not yep. there, look in the zip file that I'll, I'll make available, which I can throw in the chat here easily, but I'll, I'll post it on my site just so everyone has it. Um, cause it, it often has a lot of the stuff that you're looking for, right? Awesome. Um, so I've spent uh, nearly an hour looking for a version of ACC viewer, an up-to-date version, and I well, managed to get one. Yeah. I mean, on my side, I have that, right. If you look at the, yeah. Now, ACC viewer uh, and, and so, um, and, um, I have this CRM application that I told you about, um, and I've, I'm trying to use uh, ACC to get a um, uh, the location of a particular 
uh, window, which I can't use with normal get control, et cetera, et cetera, because every time you move the window, its name changes. So yeah, all the edits and all the statics, their name changes every time you launch a program. Yeah, there's there's a after the original stuff that auto hockey controls are built off of um, were, were used for a long time somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure time wise, but programs started using these more, you know, a newer version and they were kind of dynamic. And every time yes. you do stuff, they're dynamic and they change. And that really threw a monkey wrench into, you know, how we typically go. My, it, and in your email, so your email, it wasn't quite clear exactly what you were, you know, <clears throat> going through. Cause it's a static thing and not showing up. But anyway, yeah. um, is uh, what you know, you can do is is identify you know even with controls often you can identify a parent or something and 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 use some yes. sort of an index approach right but my first suggestion would have been to look at the ACC viewer and see if that can give you what you need. Okay. Um, well, about an hour ago I managed to do that. Yay! Um, so I managed to get a path to where I want, but the path while it identifies the window, um, I can't read the value of it. So at least I can you identify. Need, I, you need to be identify. more specific than that. When you say value, I don't know what you mean. Uh, okay. Shall I show you? If, if it's long as it's not privileged stuff, sure. Okay. Uh, let me just check, make sure there's not privileged stuff. Uh, shoots. Uh, what I'll do is um, I'll grab my name. Um, right. I do that a lot. So for those that don't understand, you know, when you have, you create an own dummy kind of case or you select yourself that you're in there and then the information's yours and you're okay to say it's okay to share the stuff, right? Of yeah. your own stuff. So um, I've brought up a screen that is basically my, um, my CRM with my name and address in it. So if people want to send me messages um, and call me up and send <laughs> yeah. me this, you know. Um, Did you share it? I haven't seen it yet. No, I'm not shared it yet. Is it okay to okay. share yeah, yeah. Because I'm in the phone book. I'm a, I'm a local photographer. Yes. Um, so um, if someone knows my name, they can look it up. I'm, I'm you know, I'm in the phone book. Right. So uh, I'm going to go to go to there and do share screen. How do I do share screen? On the the toolbar in the middle, there's like a green box. Yeah. Zoom. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So um, share. Awesome. And I'm going to share my screen. Awesome. Right. So there's some code that you can see. There is the, um, there is the CRM again. Um, and if you look at the bottom here, it says one record. Yep. Um, I'm trying to find the value of that one record. Um, and with ACC viewer, um, let's, let's bring up ACC viewer and see what we can do. Shall we? Um, do, 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 do. Uh, let me. It, and with the with the built-in window spy, did it not tell you anything that was helpful? Like, because sometimes those things will be the um. John, okay. remind me if, if you remember what the, the um. Okay, so here's spark. Windows Spy. Here's Windows Spy, and if I go follow mouse and I click on that, it gives me the class CNN RB Can RB Canvas Pane six one nine which is what I'm looking for at the moment. However, when I, um, next time I restart the program, or if I do stuff and I come back to it, it'll be different. Yeah, no, what, what I was just mentioning is, see, see how there's a blank spot that says status bar text on the, on the window spy? There's a blank box called status bar text. Sometimes the bottom of yes. your screen of what it is, it's the status bar and you can, there's a different programmatic way to get that. So that's why I just wanted to confirm that like it wasn't. It, it's not you know. a status bar. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, it's a separate window. It, now, it's still, I'm just saying that no matter what it is, they can still build it in a way where it could have been right. It's, yeah. you, you never know. Okay. And, well, and that was simple. So that's why I'm like, Hey, let's just check it. Okay. Well, um, I, there's other bits and pieces I want to be able to get. For instance, can you see, I've got three phone numbers here. Yeah, I want to be able to say, well, get me the first one, the second one, or the third one. But this 
is a combo box that's continuously changing, and the name of the combo box is well, continuously changing. Let's let's before we dive too deep into this, let me just ask you a couple of questions, right? Yes. What is this? This is a this tool is a CRM tool. Is that correct? Correct. Where is the data? Is it? Is, do you know? Is it stored like in a SQL database? Is it pulling it from online? It's doing both. It's storing it locally, and it's it's refreshing with online. There are no APIs that I can access. Well, it, okay? it's locked down. Yes, you, you, no, you, I mean, you can't, right? You can, you can see your browser traffic, right? Every browser call is an API call. Yeah, but this is not a browser. This is a desktop. And even if it's not, it's still network traffic. So <laughs> I, I'm just saying I've hacked plenty of stuff where it's like, hey, there is no public API, but I can still see my traffic. And I basically figure out how to do the calls for me instead of for the program, right? But that is much okay. more advanced, right? I'm just, I just want to talk through of like, okay, but then there's also on your computer, there might be like a SQLite database, right? That we could programmatically get to and just skip this whole crappy, you know, interface, right? I'm just, again, and, and, and maybe it doesn't work for you in this case, but, you know, other people are going to watch you. So it's good to talk through different no, approaches absolutely. we might take. Uh, absolutely. Right? Well, because I'm nearly there at this approach, we are like, if I can have um, show you one thing, um, and then we can look at the the database option uh, and the. Well, we I don't have to do it. I was just like I said. I wanted to outline different things that people might try. Absolutely. Right. Because again, that's going to have PII if we do start getting into it that we can't easily filter on, right? And it's that's pretty yeah. complex. Yeah. Um, so if I'm looking for the um, ACC um, viewer. Um, where have I got it? I've got it here. I know I downloaded it. Uh, choo, 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 choo. So the ACC viewer, that's something I think Jethro made the initial stuff on. And it's, uh, it's the uh, accessibility stuff from Microsoft that's kind of built for stuff, especially for like blind or deaf people, whatever, that there's a backbone into a lot of programs that we okay. can programmatically interact with and do stuff with. It's, it's now defunct. There's the... Okay. The UI automation, you know, has replaced it, but most programs still have this built into it. So okay. it's a great one. And more importantly, we have a way to programmatically like get stuff from it. This ACC viewer tool that you're launching here yes. is it gives you a path that we can use. Okay. Well, um, I'm just searching for it because I misplaced it. Um, can you chuck me the code in the, um, the code file in the, in the, in the, um, in the chat is that possible i'd have to go find it <laughs> uh, i'm just i know i downloaded it today and i've just misplaced it uh maybe it's running on here uh acc viewer here we go acc viewer uh, launch no uh, open folder just altar there we go just altar. altar inside inside studio altar will run it okay There we go. Oh, okay. that's yeah, that's so, a different. That's not the yeah, one I use, but anyway, okay. Okay, so bottom line is here it is. If I go up to the window and I click on the big window up here, it shows me that this is a software and etc. Now, this element down here, if I show the structure. This element down here, it's it's it, here it is. It's a window and it's got a location, but it's got nothing else. It's got no name, it's got no value. Yeah, okay. but the, it had a path of four. So see the four in the path? Correct. But can you see it's got this is a CNN that um spy brought up. Okay. That will change next time I launch the wind the, sure. the, the program. So I need to find out programmatically via the path what the um, what the um, position of this window is and the size of it, because then I've got one of your OCR programs that does a beautiful job of of just looking up what's the value. Well, I I would still. try to use the four as the path and actually just see if you can get, even though it's not shown in the name and value, I mean, there might be line breaks or something and, and it's not displaying it, but that okay, four. So can you see this CNN? Well, my thought was if I went to the main window, 
and went from the top down to find out where it is so I get a longer um, I, I just find out where it is eventually I'll get to it I think it's number 18 there we go it's number 18 there okay from the top so now I can get to the top window so the path is uh, 4 comma 18 from the if I select the big window the main window Well, but the, the, I mean, when you use the path and, and I vaguely remember that someone had like a different version on mine, it's dots, not commas, just, just to be clear, right. That's okay. just where I'm like, and, and who knows if it's, you're just using a different version, but that four comma 18, that is the path to that window. Yep. So you would yeah. just use that and hopefully return the value. But um, now I would go deeper on that one. On mm -hmm. the 418 and see the menu and title bar and other stuff? Well, uh, I can, and uh, those are all empty. Uh, no, no value comes up to any of these. Uh, if it did, I wouldn't need to mess about with OCR, you know. Um, so this is window 18. So let's go to the client, uh, window one, and I can basically explore all of those Oh, there's a value of zero come up on there, but that, I know the value is one record. So uh, I'm looking for the text that says something, something to do in that window. And it's empty. I don't know what grip is, but it's all empty. Yeah, the other... Yeah, I mean, that's very odd. So basically, we've discovered that this window that says one record in it is um, 418, yes, which is up here. But everything else, we delved deeper into it. We couldn't find programmatically how to get hold of that value. If you notice, um, it doesn't come up with it comes up with a CNN of the big window, not of the um, of that six one nine. When I do it this way, I would have thought the CNN would have changed. Or is it looking at the main window at the top for it? No, I think it's just looking at the the overall. Okay, in which case that's fine. But it's that we know that that one there is six one nine from previously. So my thought is if I could have gotten it programmatically by going down the path saying, give me the value of the contents of that text, that'll be fabulous. Uh, but as I can't, at least I can find it through the path it's position and OCR it. Hold on. Let me, let me first, let's, let me give you, let me find mine um, and give you my version. Cause my version is different than the one you're using. Let's just make sure it's not, an issue with the ACC viewer that you're using. Awesome. Because right, um, that would be terrible. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to chat. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. There we go. What? Oh. Okay, 
found the file. Okay. I think in the chat now, it allows you to upload and download files. It always has, or for years. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, ACC for .jga. Okay, lovely. And um, pop it into. Just as a helpful tip, which I know you're, you know you're doing stuff live, you know, and and on the fly and working on stuff, but um, having a clear, structured path of where you save stuff, it takes a little more time at the beginning, but you, it helps you so much in the long run to take a couple extra seconds, you know, and that way you don't lose stuff because it's so. Easy. I mean, if you see my files and structure right i have thousands of different things and it's just it, it's if i didn't do that it would be crazy okay well maybe we need a tutorial on that as well i believe you've got one somewhere have you not no 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 i don't think i've ever talked about that i mean i i talk a lot about it in my videos just as a general concept right but it's because it's whatever makes sense to you right i'm just saying i yeah. put things i'm working on i have an hk work folder and then under that i broke it into there's general stuff there's APIs and then there's like auto hockey functionality. And then I know intuitively where I would think where they would go. Um, and then I have folders under each of those with the stuff. So anyway, there's my tool. Let's see how, if it does any different, which I doubt it will, but I just want to confirm because. Well, it's got red. So there is, there is the, um, um, there is the, um, There is that client is coming up with the same name. Yes. Yep. Um, it's not letting me, it's not letting me make that wider. It's not making me this win, allow me this window yeah. to get any bigger. Fine. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. So, um, so there it is there, the value zero. And I wish somewhere here, if we could find some, um, some way of finding it programmatically but it doesn't look like it's there mm -hmm. okay so the next step is can i access its position well if i click on it there is its position there and then i'll just ocr it and you know what the ocr that i've used that um you guys have recommended has worked particularly well um and it, it's it's dirty but it works you know um, then I can OCR that rectangle, basically. So in order to get to that programmatically, I have a path. If I go to the main window um, and then navigate down to that path, how do I reset everything? This has got says path two. That's because that's the two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for that. Oh, my apologies. From the main window, which I can, auto hotkey can, can select, yes, um, saying go to the main window and then drill down to the path until you get here. I can't go here directly, can I? Well, that is four. I mean, that, that was the same path as in the other one. Correct. So how would I, how would I basically read this location programmatically of that? Well, you a, did, did you watch the webinar where we talked through the using you the ACC viewer? Um, you, I did. And this is the bit where I got confused and it didn't work for me. So there's, there's about two lines of code. It's not particularly complex. Um, if I move this out of the way, okay. Um, there is, where's my code? I'll look for it. Go search. <laughs> there, I've got bars everywhere. You can move out of the way. I uh, can close down. I need to get down. I need to go. 
Right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> now, again, I don't know whether I've got the right ACC document. Yes. Um, as in the ACC library. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so that's the other question. I believe I have. It's the Jethro one. Okay, and now I'm looking for my um, there we go. There's my code. So this is what I structured in my code. Get the H and D of the program. Get the win title of the program, and sh and look get an A to C get for you're saying this should be a dot well in the one i used it's a dot but okay yeah, so let's just get, so let's say, say four we said it's a four isn't it um well uh, the two, parent one was a four yeah okay so and the hk id of 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 the of the main window okay um is and is it role or position what what is a command here that should be well, if anything, I'm pretty sure it's R O L E, not R O L L. But um, I'm going from memory. But I'm pretty sure that okay. there's a couple options that could be there. Um, I don't program in this, you know, very very rarely. So it, you know, it's something that. I have what I've done is I've just popped up a message box saying this is the window title I found of the main window, and this is the the whatever data I found in there. Okay, um, and then I've done it 619, which I know what it is. I've manually put that in, and then it gives me the manual of what it is. So if I run it. Um, All right, what was the 619? Um, 619 is the current name, CNN name of that particular window, um, which will change. So I know it is there now in that 619. If I relaunch a program, it'll be different. So in this iteration, it'll work, but in the future, it won't. So this is just a test that the ACC version matches the actual window that I know what it is. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, it's just a test. So if I go up here and I launch my sidekick bar and I hit my test button, okay, so it says, okay, this is a main window. I've got it. Well done. Uh, I've not got anything, no data from the ACC. However, from the... Um, by knowing the CNN, I've managed to use a win get and get the size and location of the window. Yeah. So the first thing I would do is, is which is correct. Wait, look, it's there. There it is. It's correct. Okay. So that confirms that I've managed to get it via the CNN name, but um, I've not managed to get it via ACC. Right. So first thing I would do, first thing I always do in something like this is confirm that O position is an object. Because if it's not an object, you don't got a chance at all, right? To, to Okay. To, so here's me sounding like a noob, which I am. What's, so, a, what's well, an object? Well, that, that's... Um, hmm. Objects basically a... are ways to, you know, there's object-oriented... Coding, which is very complex, but objects in themselves are basically things to store data, right? It's one thing. But I programmatically, no. Um, okay. They're, they can be stored in a variable, but they're not, quote, unquote, a variable. But anyway, okay. it's um, to simplify it, and I, I'm just going to point you to some videos I'm talking through, because it's a, it, you, like, first off, it looks like you're using functions, which is great. It's, it's one of the best stepping stones. Objects are the next one. Once you start learning objects, oh, the world becomes easier, right? So it's a, it's a really good one to learn. But um, so let's just do this. And then maybe later, like I said, I'll find some videos or something where I, okay. I, I, I know I cover it and, and stuff. Okay. So on 1559, yep. start off with a message box. Yep. Yep. And, and by the way, I just happen to know this returns an object, right? Okay. And how you were accessing it, I believe, was as an object. So um, okay. you're trying to store it. So do the percent sign, space, and then the com command is object, is is, uh, is object. So, and then a left paren, and then you're going to put in what you're checking, which is the OPOS. 
right? Now that's going to say, hey, is this thing, if it returns with a one, then it's an object. If it doesn't, then it's not an object. By the way, did you use the include command or I don't know if we even need it, but. Um, no. Okay. Well, where is this ACC? Oh, no, I, no, no, the, no, the include command is in there. It's up at the top. Okay. Yes, ACC is, is part of part of it. Um, I think if you come down here, you can see that ACC is part of the. Um, okay, that's fine. It's included, just, and this is this is the um, last update of 2015, whatever that is, by Jethro. Uh, 2012, sorry, 2012. Yeah, so did you did you run it? Um, it's included, so it's part of the, it's been run, yeah. No, no, I'm saying, did you go back to your original script? Did you run it? No, let's, let's try it. Okay. The original script is running. I need to go back to the CRM. Uh, zero. Okay, so it's not an object. So there's no way it's going to come back with a value. If that makes it, and I know you don't. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand what you're talking about. But you're gonna let's fix it, and then you can educate me later. No, well, I mean, it's, it's important that you understand, right? If it, 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 it's not returning an object, which means there's no, there's no any sort of value because it broke. <laughs> How's okay. that? Okay. Right. It, it didn't yeah. work. Okay. So there's no way. There's no chance of it working. Is my point, right? Okay. So what we would do, let me see. So ACC get. Let me see if I have an example. Um, in my, you know, stuff where I play around with it. Okay. Um, and if anyone else uses it, great, chime in, right? But I just don't use it very often. Uh, I mean, I, I, I looked at the, um, the code that you guys had when you were um, using the... So how about this? So let me put... Um, I'm going to put the whole, th whole thing... And then yeah. let's adapt it. Okay. Um, this is for something else I did with with uh, someone for a different program, so it's obviously not going to make any sense. I wish I had an example of like using Studio, because then it would be, you know, we could we could do it on that, and then we adapt it to your tool, right? And because because I have Studio, right? And then we could. Um, get I, it, I could get it working. On I use Studio, as you can see. Okay. So I've got what you've asked to download, and I'm just going to put it there. So this is your code down here. Okay, x y equals acc get location. Awesome, which is what I want. So a set delay three hundred sn five hundred. You can you can get rid of the fifteen. I shouldn't have brought that in. Sorry. Um, and I don't know sn is that used anywhere? You can get rid of that too. Um, okay. But the now the line 1559, so get rid of 1557 as well, just because it's yeah. junk. We need it. Yeah. Um, this is where we need to make sure we're doing something. You know, how how did you get, borrow from what you did with the, so the AHK ID okay. in yours in 1567? Yeah. Okay, so basically, um, I went to get the um, the HND of and the title that programmatically of of the CRM. Okay, um, because I saw the example here as HND, so I had to use that. Well, let's I'm just gonna, use. Well, why AKA, don't you just? I can use the AKA class here and just put the program name in there. Can I not? Okay. No. Not in the class. The program name would be to the right of the AHK EXE on well, line fifteen fifty seven, over to the right. Let's leave this because we know we know it works. We know that works. How do we you know, know that works? Because it comes up with the window here. I ask it in the message. Yeah, box. but you don't, we don't know if that works with with our example ah, in the ECC, right? Yes, I see. I see. Okay, so let's separate these two out. First of all, is well, window. So let's let's sort the window out here. Okay, let's put my window in there. Well, hold, what? Hold on. First thing, the, and I'm going to interrupt you more than I normally would, right? Because yes. it's part of it's just to give you kind of tips on what you're doing, like like the stuff you just pasted in a mine, like on line 1557. Yeah, we want to keep that example, 
right? So just com- duplicate it, comment it out, and that way we can always go back to it. Otherwise, you got to go back from scratch and see what it was. And if we don't have a visual reminder, it's very easy to to end up getting it wrong. You, you know what I mean? Uh, Once we start changing it, and then we're yeah. like, well, crap, what do we do? Uh, awesome, thank you. And you know what? This is actually the way you're stopping me working and changing the way I work is actually more beneficial than actually. Well, I hope learning. so. You know, yeah. and again, it's for other people too watching, but it's in its, believe me, the way I do things isn't the best, but, but from years works. of trying, yeah, it's like, you know what? The other one, which, which I know we talked about last time was I personally would have grabbed this into its own script. And that way I know this is exactly what I'm working on. Right. Okay. Um, okay. I don't have other stuff in here, but it, and it's okay. It's just for me, that's what I do. Okay. So um, let's make can comment that out. We can comment this lot out here. So, sorry, the name of the program is Light Blue. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, so basically, but, but we need. Sorry. See how at the end of my line fifteen fifty eight, the exe it spells out it's the executable name, not quote unquote the name of the program. Okay. So we need. We need to know the executable name in order for that to work. Do we need the path as well? No. No, because it's looking at all running programs and says, hey, let's find something that um, you know has it. So make sure you get it, copy it. That's a really great idea, what you just did there. That's awesome. And saying. what I would do is after the line 1566, yep. just to yep. test it once, let's do a message box of window just to confirm, you know, it, it worked. Okay. Um, so if I do X, put it there, right now, the other thing I see that there's a class here, what does this class refer to here in your because the, the the parent class which would have been your um i think it's the rb underscore canvas pane but not the number see i don't think we want the number but we can try it try it with the number and then delete the number if it doesn't work can we leave it without the ak class no because that's what it tells it what, what you mean both without both no we need if no, we're no, using no no light blue if you if you looked when we did when we did our test here when the with well, the class didn't come back yes it came we we managed to see that the sizes were the same so we knew that the path was correct and it was identifying the program with just the aka id because the size of the window reported was correct it failed on getting the um the other bits and pieces let's let's run it there and see what we get it's the easiest way to do it um and we've got a message box xy basically coordinate for win activate well, what what was the window title did it show yes it showed the window title as being the full window title of the program well um, message box window, win activate window, call da 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 da, and it's yeah, message don't, box XY. I don't believe you need to activate it, by the way, for, for the. Okay, well, that, that's what you had. So I'm copying your code. Um, and I oh. need here to put the message box with a uh, XY. There we go. And we call this window. Right. So rerun it. Okay. See, it, 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 this is a good example of every time you run it, it's doing other stuff, right? Which yes. just distracts you. Yeah. Just FYI. Well, um, the reason why I run it is because the little yellow triangle is my test bed. When I press it, it just runs that routine. Okay. Yeah, but you could easily have our little script in its own thing with a hotkey that you hit and it runs it. Yes. 
Yes. Directly. Right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. So this is a window, AKA H that's the title of the window. That yes. to me looks, unless you type that, that looks like the straight text. Did you have a percent after the message box? I believe I did. And there's a position that it's come out with, but that's a second position. Ah, ah, it did find that it, it, it did find a position. Hey. So cool. let's try that again. It's come up with a position of zero fifty four. Okay, it's a wrong position. Well, it's, at least it's come it, back it, with the value. It's it's a different position. Yeah, but it's a, know, last time it, it, it was blank. Yeah, but my point being, it might be relative to the screen, and the other one is to your desktop. I'm just saying it might actually be accurate. It's just you know using different coordinates. So back to back to so every time i hit the yellow button this is what it runs basically yeah okay so let's look and see what we have here um the window is that okay. lot you can i can comment out 156 what 1556 or whatever it was the message box we don't 1566 we don't need that anymore right it seems to be working yep. so yep. there's no reason to pause on it um so XY is the new, we put the word coordination, uh, location. I don't know what zero refers to. For that, we would have to go into, and actually in studio, so double, well, actually click on the ACC get. So, and then hit Alt F1. Are you in it? Are you, click on the ACC get. I've done it, and it's taken me to the function. So Why it don't says, I... there it is. Can you see it? No. You must have shared just this window, so we don't see it. I thought I shared the screen. Now it, okay, now we see it. I don't. That was like a it's, ten second delay. It's, it's, it's yeah, weird. it's a delay. It's a delay. Don't forget, well, we've got was... storms here. We've got all sorts of things. Okay. So let's look. Um, command child path. Child path. Child ID, win title, win text, exclude. So the win title here, I presume, is a standard auto hockey win title, which can be either um, um, whatever win spy shows up as a. Oh, we've done that. That's well, the window. It, it, we don't know. I mean, it could. We have to follow through. So this is the function, and then we have to go look how they used it, right? Okay. Like they could have used it many different ways, but. <clears throat> okay, so. Um, is I think we've got the the command right. We've got coordinates come out. I don't think we've got the right um, sub window within the main window. I think our path is wrong. And if we go back to, is there a way of jumping to where you were before? Yeah, like, Alt left arrow. Awesome. You know what? That has saved me so much time. Oh, it, it studio is great for getting around. It takes a little practice. Yeah. So alt left arrow, and that was the, the to get to the function was it's, it's alt f one. That one I had to okay. I literally okay. wrote down like this isn't it, but just so you get an idea. On some of these, I put little stickies and you yes. know, write it and put it on my screen because I'm like, I just can't, you know, until I remember it and then I tear them down once I finally get it well, hard good. I've got, in a, my head. I've got a stream deck. I've got a stream deck. So I can just program the keys when I'm oh, in studio. Okay, fair enough. That format, yeah. You know. Which is brilliant. Yep. Okay. So I think my coordinates are wrong there because it's it's ending up in the wrong place. If it's going to the main window, oh. it might want 14.18. Right. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. And what we don't know if it's the 0.18 or comma 18. And this is where also... Um, well, I'm looking I, here and you've used dots. So Well, that's I'm what I said. Mine, mine is dots, right? Yeah. But who knows what you're using. There was uh, one that had commas. Okay, I think. I remember okay. reporting it to Jethro. This is a long, long time ago. And I said, it, you know, mine doesn't work, but when I use commas, it works. And if I remember right, it was him or someone else said, I have no idea how that would be possible. And I'm like, I don't know, but it does. Um, okay. Well, if you have a look, the, um, the ACC viewer reports a position of, of that pane, 619, as... 403 by 1322 okay the um where's it gone 
the the new iteration as a reported a position. Yeah, look, 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 go back to your thing on the right. Of very and look, simple. look at the bottom where it says location. There's two locations. There's position and then location. And this is spot on. That is spot on. That's because we're getting location. Cool. So if I wanted to OCR that location, would I be looking at the position or the location? I, it, it, it just depends. I think both are fine. You just have to understand how you're going to use them. Okay. So if we've, I, I think we've had a look and come to the conclusion that programmatically we can't find the value of what's in there. I, I, I disagree somewhat with that. Not entirely, but it looks like, I agree, it looks like it's not available, but personally, I would try a little harder, but it's okay. I mean, okay. So um, I'm happy that we've identified programmatically that particular section of the screen. Here, you know what? Hold on. Was, now, actually, did I give it to you? I, think, I, um, I have an executable, and since we're in Zoom, I think I can share it. Um, mm -hmm. It's from, I think, Microsoft. Let me find it though. You've um, got you've got an OCR that works in Windows 10. However, I have a little program that I picked up, an auto hockey program that does the same thing. And it's called um where we go. Da, 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 da. It's Seriously? called Capture to Text. And I I can run it in a command line giving it all the characters I need to put the content of that into clipboard. Hold on a second. Oh, good. I'm going to put a file what, into the uh, chat, which I think I thought it was you, but maybe not. Maybe maybe it was on a different live stream and it was something else. It's, um, it's, I zipped it because it, it wouldn't let me give you an executable. Yeah. This is a tool for Microsoft. I, I think it was Microsoft. Yeah. Um, which allows you to use the, the ACC approach and the UI approach. Um, and I just want to, because if this one can't find the text, then, then I'd say I, I agree programmatically we can't use um, it, the, the, the straight up approach to getting the text. Okay. Well, it's running now. There and John, is. there's a question in the chat. You're better with GUIs than I am anyway, but... Um, I don't know if you want to try to reply to him, to, to Colo. So here is the, um, here is the, oops. It's for some reason, um, it's doing funny stuff. It shut down my CRM. So I'm going to have to relaunch my CRM. Um, and it means that uh, it means that that number that that would change. Okay, uh, I've got an error now. I don't know why I've got that error. Uh, can't create control. Okay. No. It's... Okay, so for some reason I can't create control. There's something wrong gone wrong in my main script here. Um, restart it. There we go. That's fine. Right. So it's uh, yeah. Um, there we go. It, the, because of then the name has changed now the other method doesn't work. So if we go and inspect to see what the new name of it now, it's control panel 584. So if I change that to 584, then I know that it'll work. Okay, now let's look at the new program that you have um, sent me. It's inspect, and I'm inspecting the CRM. Is that correct? Yeah. How, how am I inspecting it? Well, so see on the left where this says MSAA, and it's a drop down, and you can choose between that and the UI, which I forget what it is. Yep. 
So UI automation. So okay. we're going to, we can use the MSAA as the accessibility approach. Okay. Right. The, just, but just FYI, it does both, which is what's really cool. Okay. Uh, but so go ahead. And maybe there is a huge delay, but if you get it back on the uh, um, MSAA, and then it works similar in that sense as you, you can, uh, well, you can turn on like the outline to the right one more. So what am I trying to do? The, the rectangle. Yep. And go yeah, and, So is it on? Yep. Is it? Is it the mouse I need to do? I well, think it's keep go to the right a couple more. There's like three or four different ways that it'll show you what's under. There you go. A tool tip will be fine. So to the right of that one, one more. There you go. I think that's a tool tip kind of thing. So click yep. that. And then when you're over it, just wait. It should. Huh. Well, you can try the try the two to the right. Try one and then try the other. Put it. Oh, I think this is it puts into the tool tip. Watch tool tips. Uh, watch cursor. Watch carrot. Uh, watch focus. Focus. Uh, yeah, but try one of the other options to the right of the tool tips. Okay, what's this one? Show highlight rectangle. There you that's, go. That'll that'll help. Yeah. And that now when you cool. go down, that should have been on. And that there we go. So see, now we're record. Now now that we're on that, do we see one record anywhere? I don't see it. Which this gets back to. I would agree. If this can't see it, we can't. We're not going to be able to using the ACC approach to see it. However, just for fun, because we're here, change yeah. that drop down from the MSAA to the UI automation. And depending on how old your CRM is, now just go back and click back down on the one record. You won't let me. Okay. And it, so maybe your is your program maybe a little old or do you know? Um, I know my program has been around for a few years. Um, and I don't know how old it is. But I know okay. it's been around for at least 10 years. Okay. So for whatever reason... It uh, it's it you can't, which is really weird because usually that UI automation, like it gets every like so much, it's great, but for whatever reason in this tool, it's not getting anything. So, oh well, um, Cella V. Yeah, exactly. I know, I know, I know now that. Um, well, now I it's actually where I would I'd re reload the inspect tool. If I go. Uh, Reload the inspect tool, okay? It seems to be acting a little weird, that's all. So maybe the, the UI automation didn't work because it was just freaking out. Okay, it's saying there's... Um, yeah, don't worry about that, it's fine. That's fine, okay. It's just so, saying it, it sees there's conflicting hotkeys already in existence. So that's fine, we don't need that, we don't need that. We just need to watch the show highlight rectangle. Um, how do we select that rectangle? How do we select? Oh, that, we don't want that. That's it. That's one. It just one. takes a while. Yeah. yeah. And then okay. go ahead and shift it back to the UI automation. Just one more try. And if this doesn't work, then fine. And then I'm going to hit refresh. It, it, sure. Yeah. And then, yeah, but it's, it, whatever reason is it, it can't find it this program, which is fine because unfortunately we don't have a programmatic way, which is one I've tried working on, but it's very complex. Um, a programmatic way to get it from the UI automation. So anyway, let's not worry about it. But I, I will agree with you. We can't programmatically get the, the text there, unfortunately. But we have a system now to know how to get it if we have to, okay, which is perfect. Well, here's the thing. Like, if if you can, what I don't know is, let's see if, if the word, like, class, because see, correct me if I'm wrong, if we could return the class of what is there, then you can use your second approach reliably. If we can programmatically return that class, mm -hmm. right, to, to where it's always dynamic and getting updated, then you could use your second approach. We don't have to do the OCR. What's this? So, um, let me shut down studio. Okay, we can shut down this lot. Um, there's a lot going on here that we need to shut down. 
Okay. So we're back on the record. I'm going to bring up your um, account viewer and show more, show that, bring that to there. Oops, my apologies. Let's try that again. Drag that to there. It's happy. It says path four. Um, if I take it up to here, um, child count five. But earlier on, we found out that it was 418, wasn't it, to get to there. And we did it by drilling down the main structure all the way to say it's 418. Okay. So um, this incarnation that the um, – we've got the coordinates. Now, the question is we just need to read those coordinates. Well, yeah, perhaps you didn't hear what I said, though, is, is go, go back to the hotkey code. And I, I want to point out something. So th and th this is where it's th this is also why like I don't even dabble in it. It's pretty complex, right? What we're doing. Yeah. See on line 1570 where you're getting location. And the first thing I would say is like, hey, maybe we can get um, what was the one you actually said you thought was, quote unquote, right um, position. Like we might be able to use position where location is and get them to be the same as what you had in the other one. However, what my point is also is if we can return back the class NN and it actually had the dynamic value that, that chain with the numbers. Right? Awesome. Then, then it takes out for that incarnation. Right. We don't need right. to mess about with. Yeah. Right. Okay, we so would then do that. Right. Okay. So but I don't know if that's a method. So methods inside functions and class, like those are things that actually like a do something and they'll go read a value, right? They might not have a method for getting the class, but it's worth trying. Yeah. Now I tried to use um, the class, as you can see down here. Um, I tried to get the value um, programmatically and I couldn't. So um, yeah, hold, hold on. So online 15 set, just, just, for yep. give me five minutes, right? Yep. On 1570, okay. duplicate it because we know that works, right? Now, um, change that. Well, sure. And why don't you run that? Let's actually do a message box after the XY, the first one. Oh, there you go. That's even better. Good. And then do a message box with XY and XYP just for curiosity's sake to see, right? That's the first one. That wasn't where I was going, but it, this is still fine to do as a quick test. Now I know that um, okay the second the second part won't work but this will work fine. Okay. So we got location. We got nothing for position. So position isn't a thing. Can you see it? Yeah. It's tiny, but yeah. How do we make the font bigger? Let's not worry about it. I... Yeah. So uh, position isn't a thing. Well, it's not as a word. It might be POS. And this is where peeking inside the actual ACC get, we could figure it out. But for now, just try POS real quick uh, instead of position. Because if anything, I'm pretty sure that's what it would be, and just rerun. Re nope. nope. Okay. So the other one, though, I was thinking, and and what would be better is just let's go into the ACC get function. So mm -hmm. double click on it, or just oh, be in F1. it, and Alt F1, and that'll jump to it. And then in five minutes, I'll see it. Oh, it actually did it right away. Good. <laughs> so, okay. so let's look at the CMDs. Where are the CMD options here? So see, did you see location on line 176? So, so that's, that was for location. Oh boy, this is, 
So there's not many, right? If in, but I thought role was, or value was also one as well. So um, we got object, we got location, we've got CMD equal. Why do you role, actually role let's, state child count? Function focus, yeah. ACC command not implemented. So unfortunately, I don't. I was hoping to see control here, but let's return object. What was it? Let, let what's, me make sure. uh, what's this? ACC location. What's this? This looks interesting. Is well, that, I think it's, that's for location. That's for location. Yeah, that's getting the location. That's how it's programmatically doing it. And see how, like, to me, this is, I'm not going to say gobbledygook, but it's its very advanced to what they're doing. Yeah, they did that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but so, that ACC OBJ, mm -hmm. let's change, um, is that the actual command? No, object. Sorry, object is what we want. So let's put in object. So go back to alt left arrow. See the one right above that where it says object? Anyway, it's fine. So instead of position, get object. Yeah. And then what we're going to want to do is we need to peek inside that. Ob now, the, the thing is, objects, you, they're not text. They're structured data. Okay. So okay. we can't just display them now. If, do you have Maestrius M function? I think it's built into Studio. So online 1572, put M and then the left paren, and do, let's do XYP since that's what you have it stored as a line above. And now just go ahead and run it. Let's see. It may it may not run if you don't have that function, but hopefully, I think Studio has it built into. It's not going to be down there. That anyway. So you don't have it. Unfortunately, but let me uh, let me give it to you because it's an amazing function. Very, very, very handy. What is it? It's M. No, no. What 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 does it do? It it just allows you to display text or objects, and it iterates over them and um, will parse them for you. So I put it in the chat. Okay. So I'm going to download it. And do you, you know about your library, right? If you put it in your library folder, you won't have to use an include. Okay. Um, so here it is. And I want to use an include mainly because um, then I know if I ever transport that code, what libraries I'm using. Well, Studio, you can, you can do Alt-M and say publish. Yeah, it will go yeah. pull all of your includes, or even if it doesn't have an include, if it's leveraging it, it'll pull yeah. them and, and put them all on the clipboard for you. But anyway, okay, that's how I so, avoid that. Okay, so do I need when I do an include if it's in the library, I need to, um, and you don't need to include it. Okay, so let me include it because that way I, I don't know where my library is. That's it's fine. Just, it's just a, there's actually three places auto hockey automatically searches. So it just, it is a little more complex, right? It's yeah. Okay. So if I, path, uh, and, and I've got to put it in, um, you remove, remove those double quotes, right? Yeah. Done. Okay. So rerun it. Oh, what's this? Huh. Abort, retry, ignore, clipboard, exit. Nice. Win. Never seen this before. So for whatever reason, there's not much in the object. <laughs> oh, bummer. that's the object. Okay. Yeah, but, that was what was in there, but it was like nothing. So, okay, let's try this again. Okay, that's running. The um, is there a way of running from the? Okay, so I'm in the edited file, but saved. 
in um alt -R. studio how can i run this without finding the icon and double clicking on it alt r is that run the code from the file or from the memory here but i don't know what you mean by memory alt r that's what i get is that the function m well, it's, it's using the function M. If you had a big object that had a lot of data in it, it would show it all broken out. Or if you had text, it would just show it. But I, that's a bummer. I, I thought it was going to have a lot of information. Maybe okay. it's the path we're getting just doesn't have a lot. I don't know. Okay. Let's... Um... Um, it doesn't like the um, I've I've not seen this window before. Is it because of the include? What window? So is there a comma there? Okay. So um, if I run, I've got nothing running at the moment. Awesome. I get this, and this must be the function. It is. And it says nice. That's that's what's stored in the object, apparently. But I don't believe it's we've got oh. enough. We've not activated it. Oh, you know what? No, hold on. I think we've, um we've not activated that function. So why is it coming up? Let me see. Go edit the M function. I think it it might have, although I don't know how mine is doing it then. Yeah, that's actually um, comment out the first three lines in it. Okay, okay, can do that. Um, where did I put it? No, it's the wrong folder. See, colon, bottom key folder. Oh, the library. There's M, edit M. Right, there we go. Get rid of the um, the first three lines, yeah? Yeah, just comment about, yeah. Okay. And save and then go back and do what you were doing. Yeah, okay. I knew there's something dodgy happening that Okay, you are running. We're running. Press a button. Right, this is we get. And no name in the file. Um, it doesn't like something in M. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I mean, it's saying XML, which that's weird. Let me see if so I grabbed that from my library, but there is see, there's another there, like I said, there's three spots where your library is, right? And maybe I have a different one in my different library. Okay. Well, give me the that's right one. one that's being, well, yeah. It's just weird because I never use I, I don't even know how to it's under your my documents like saying I don't even well, just, no, just search M, M.A.K.H. and see what's about. You were going to, is it in your big zip file of stuff? Oh, no, because this is much newer. That other stuff is old. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, what, what we're doing here, it's not rocket science. It's, it's age-old stuff. It's not brand new. I'm sure other people have the same issues. They must have come overcome them somehow. Oh, I have one in my 
my studio folder. Now that looks. What? No. You're going to send me the right one? No. Well, I don't know. Um, 379 lines and same same number of lines. So that's those two are probably very likely the same. That's the same. Object to string. This M function is packed. Yeah, it does a lot. That's why when you ask, what does it do? Oh, 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 this is, this is a different one. But I think, because, and I think this might be it because. Right, I'll delete the other one. Go on. Um, yeah, this one's a little bigger. 427, 2021. Where, where is it located? Right, you've sent it? No. I, don't, I want to make sure it's... I, I have 40 of them, more, 50, you know, so... Well, if you look at the date modified, that will help. Yeah. Well, I, just because it's newer doesn't mean it's better. True. Um, this one well, there's is date modified and date created. Yeah, well, that's still it doesn't it doesn't neither one means they're the right one. Let me do this. Let me do this. I know how to. Um, let me go in my main one, um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna use Studio to jump to it. Oh, and there's and there's eight million examples. That it wants to jump to. But that is, that's the same one. I, I don't know why XML won't work for you. I don't need XML, do I? Well, it 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 leverages XML. Oh, okay. okay. But let me go ahead and store it on date created and see what's recent. Well, uh, just we'll we'll go with kind of a little bit of your logic and just saying, hey, this one's the most recent. Let's see if it's any better, because it was a uh, two eighteen. Oh, no, created, yeah, created today. What? Oh, this is just a backup. Never mind. Sorry, that's a backup. When you drop things into the library, do you have to restart Studio for it to account for it, or is it a hot folder? Um, I think it, it it you know it would pick it up, I believe. Okay. Um, I mean the fact it didn't error means it found it just fine. But I'm going to give you this other one. I don't know okay. if it's any better. Here we go. I'll open it before oh, I um. Fifteen point seven. Hold on. 15.71 is what I've got. This one, let me see where this one is. Open folder. This one, for some reason, was a bit bigger. I don't know why. Okay. Um, and I got to find the chat. Where the... This one's a lot bigger. Uh, 
Um, signal force. If okay, this one's got a lot of stuff in it. I'm gonna get rid of the first few lines. Uh, it says. Can I get rid of line two, three, and four, and five? Um, yeah. Get rid of this? Yeah, that's fine. How about exit app? That's fine. Well, the, see, you're using an include, which is why I don't have the issue. But um, so the include forces it to come here and run the program, right? Um, which is why it does that. So you so, could just, anyway, just go ahead and comment it out. Comment this lot out here. Yeah. Start at nine, line eight, basically. Is that correct? Well, it, yeah, which doesn't do anything, but um, because it's a function call, right? So now just save it, and then make sure you include the path of this file if you, if you, unless you change it or whatever. Or if you overwrite the other one, great. No, I think it's the same one. All right, let's go for studio. Uh, it's the same path, and we got to restart it, reload it. Uh, cannot be opened. Okay, well, obviously it's not in the right place then. Uh, let's do... There we go. He doesn't like it. There's a non-existent function object. A line yeah, how can that, Well, object to string. Yeah, which is amazing. You don't have object to string in that. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm sadly running out of time, but um, you know what I do have is a a different one. Hold on. Um, let me find it because I know it it's self. It's a it's a whole different thing for peeking inside objects. Um. Good it's frustrating how um, it's the process of slowing us down. So we're not actually programming. We're just working away around the process. Where's the chat again? My chat just keeps, it just, it's not. Yeah, you've got to click on the, um, on your uh, toolbar and it'll pop up under three dots, maybe. Well, but. There's a way to get it to stick to the other, to um, be bound to the other window. Yeah. So dump, which I, is DMP, um, is, so I forget who wrote it, but it's uh, it's for peeking inside objects as well. Okay. Okay. So there and we go. This Put one should, oh, crap. I changed mine. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but actually, I changed it for studio, so it should be okay because you're using studio. Yeah. I changed mine to dump it in the studio instead of a, this GUI it would do. But okay. um, Fine. go ahead and save it and include it. And then we're going to call it, um, which actually I'll have to give you the command. Oh, that's simple. Okay. And then go back to our code that's actually doing the call, which is, I think, what you're doing. And now change that to wrap the m yeah perfect perfect yeah. boy i don't know what to tell you is that because xyp is not are, an object are you what version of auto hockey are you using uh, the latest one, one point something or other. It's not two. And not version two. Okay. It's a thirty-two bit weird. version. It's a thirty-two bit version. Yeah, good. That's a, that's that's the one I version. highly recommend. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what's that on the next line? That backslash p. What is that? I don't know where that came from. I think we uh, we it seems to be a remnant from 
getting rid of these. We had something commented out here. We had this lot commented out, I believe. Uh, yeah, we had that commented out because we were testing the other bits and pieces. Okay, let's run that again. Just alt R. Right, that's doing it. Let's have a look at it. Uh, awesome. It doesn't like the dump command. Something in dump it doesn't like. Delta array in PA array. Could be that, that it isn't an array. There's no object. There's nothing well, for it to dump. Let's, let's confirm. Yeah, let's actually. So let's go back to the script. And before using it, we're going to put in a message box that says is, you know, message box space percent space. What? Okay. Cool. I have a hot string for that just because I, I use it for pretty regularly. It's a one. Okay, so it is an object. That's interesting. And yet, for some reason, it's breaking. So I unfortunately, I, and I'm it out broke, of time. It broke dump and it broke N. Yeah, there's something weird about it. Um, it, it looks like it doesn't have the thing to enumerate over the items in the object, um, yeah. which is just a bit more advanced to get into with the time we got. But um, for whatever reason, when you return that object, it's, it is an object, but um, I don't know how to, we, it, it'll take some time to, to be able to, to work with it. Okay. Well, um, in my, in, can I work with location? Is that good enough? Well, yeah. I mean, you can go the route of, that you were doing of, of doing OCR on that, you know. Okay. Now, um, that, that the OCR worked and then it stopped working. For some reason, it's not running this line. Yeah, it stops here. Now, I've got the program running already. I can knock it out. Um, it's meant to run this line as a command line for the whole thing, okay? And I know that works. So the the um, if I go to the program here and I bring up Windows Spy, and then I click on this, I know it's... 584 we know that's a fact and uh so if i do it the old way 584 if i take out all the new stuff that we've done because we know we know it partially works okay so we can take this lot out okay so it's going to go to get the position the old-fashioned way of the um, of the um, of of this particular manually entered name okay yeah okay so and then it's going to try OCR it so if i run it now it'll give us It'll give us, okay, it's given us a rubbish value. It's given us a position and a location, and now it's going to try and OCR it, and it didn't work. Let's look at it. This, this program puts things into clipboard. Uh, do, 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 do clipboard. So the first thing I would do is is confirm that the location that is returned from you know what we did yep. was identical. Or you're saying even the way that you used to do it's broken. No, the way I used to do it works. Okay, it brings up the correct location. What it doesn't do, yes. What it doesn't do, it doesn't run this line, which it used to, but it stopped, which is really, really annoying, and I don't understand why. Okay, so um, I know that if I go to this location, 
the, the, the program would be there. Okay. There is the program. Okay, so I know the location is correct. It, this used to work, but it stopped. So let's see. These are the controls, either the positions of this pane. I know that if I use Windows Spy, it'll tell me the correct position. Here, I've just clicked on it, okay? And it's now a different pane, which is a pain, pain, pardon my pain. Okay. Ah, 584, there we go. It's window 584. And um, I gotta go that to freeze. So um, there we go, 584. Um, you, we've got two positions. We've got two Ys and two Xs, okay? 4031322. When I run the program, I've got 4031322. So, and the height and the width. Yes. So I know my program is picking up the right, right thing. Okay. So I, I know that the, the uh, position yeah, but, match. Well, yeah, but, but see it right here, just because this, I'm not familiar with your tool. Like it has X403, Y1322. Is that how you're referencing them in the other thing with the X and Y there? Or do you, do you okay. add the Y and X manually? Okay, so the way I do it is I add the width and the height to the X and the Y, and then I enter it, those coordinates, um, into the command line. And it reads it and dumps into the keyboard, into the clipboard. But, but what I'm, what I'm asking you, mm -hmm. are those expecting numbers or to have a Y or an X appended to them at the beginning? They're expecting numbers with spaces. Well, yeah, but you don't have numbers with spaces in your I message have. box. In your message, in your message box, the thing you're capturing, the yep. thing you displayed earlier, has an X appended to the number. Correct. That's but, but that's only a display. I'm okay. not sending that X. Okay. Yeah. So if you look at my coordinates, I'm getting X, Y, W, and H. I'm converting the, the W and H into another set of X, Y coordinates. So we've got the diagonal corners of the rectangle, and then I'm passing the, the diagonal coordinates of the rectangle to the function there. I know that works. It's not running this program. Well, I, I, that's not my program. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so if in the settings here, it automatically dumps it into the clipboard, but it's, it's running now, which is crazy. It wasn't running before. Well, unfortunately, I'm out of time, um, mm. and and I don't know that program. So, yeah, I mean, okay. I, I would just again personally, I would have I would bring this outside of your whole main script and just test with very specific stuff without having all the other crap. And I would even force feed the numbers instead of getting them from a variable. Get that to work first. Okay, now I'm gonna you know use the variable to get it. Okay, now that works. Now I'm gonna bring it back into this parent thing. Okay, I get That's that. What I would do. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, everyone. Thank Thanks. you. Wait, patient. Uh, marks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I do think this is because there's not a lot document on it, and I honestly just don't play with it much, so I don't do many videos on it, but I, I don't use it much. But it, the ACC library is a great way. It's just complex, but it's a great way to automate things, which is why I was happy to walk through all of this because it's it's complicated. But the problem here is the other thing is it's different for every program, mm -hmm. right? Like how you're doing and what you're doing. So. You can't, it's kind of like the whole thing with com and web, like, hey, you know what? Every web page is different. You can't show one example and be good. So it's just kind of a painful thing to walk through. Um, but yeah.